Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name's Kiera and today I am getting ready for 2019 because it's, it's January 8th. We're a week into 2019 and I just wanted to show you guys some of the things I did and I am doing to get prepped and ready and just starting fresh for the new year. Uh, physically, mentally, emotionally, all the above. I think most of these things can really help boost your confidence and just make you feel, just feel better about going into 2019. Maybe 2018 wasn't your year, make 2019 your year, all right? So let's go ahead and get into what the hell I did to glow up. <laughs> Honestly, not much, but whatever. <laughs> One of the first things I want to do to reset or start fresh in 2019 is a little self-care. And for me, that's cutting my hair because it's starting to get to the length where it's going to look real nasty in about a month. So I'm just going to go get a haircut. Um, I think self-care sort of things can really help you know, boost your confidence and give you that push to reset and just like start over in 2019. So maybe for you it's getting a manicure or a massage or you're getting your hair done like me. Because I think honestly with a new haircut you just feel like you can take on the world. And in this case it's going to be taken on 2019. So yeah, let's go to the salon. Can I do it? Can I do it? Can I do it? I did it! Woo! All right. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna pull over. My camera's gonna fall. I'm not risking the life of you guys, so you're welcome. Ooh, I made it to the salon, and I've never been here before, so I'm not gonna take you guys in because I don't want to weird people out. And yeah, so I'll catch you in like an hour when my hair is nice and cut and clean. And yeah, see you then. And I'm back. Uh, so this is my new hair. It's a little bit shorter than I wanted, but you know, it's fine. So I just got a cut. I don't color my hair anymore. Um, I haven't in about two years. I have had it dyed and highlighted since I was in like sixth grade. And two years ago, I just decided it was bad for my hair. I didn't want to do it anymore. And I kind of just wanted to see what my natural hair color looked like because people say that your natural hair color is what looks on be looks best on you, and that's kind of common sense, honestly. <laughs> but I do love my blonde hair, and my natural hair color is like just really dirty blonde. So we're just gonna see what it looks like, you know, within the next couple years. See, see what my natural hair color looks like on me. <laughs> and dyeing your hair is expensive, so <laughs> I want to avoid that. <laughs> Um, it's currently like 8 a.m. I'm talking really quiet because my roommates are asleep and I, I don't want to wake them up. Next up on my list to glow up in 2019 is skincare because a clean face is a happy face in my opinion. So we're going to be trying out some new skincare products and yeah, so let's clean this. So for my new skincare routine, I'm trying out this three-step kit from Southwest Basics that I got at Target. And the first step is you start out with a cleanser. And basically all three of these products are completely natural and organic and vegan. There's rose water, tea tree oil, olive oil, coconut oil, all these different oils that are completely natural and you can eat and put on your skin, which is interesting, but totally awesome. So, as we all know, if you look good, you feel good. So, I think it's pretty, pretty essential to have a few key outfits that you feel good in, you feel cute, you feel comfortable, and you feel confident. So, I think having a couple of those to start out the new year, especially going back to school, is super, super important. And it'll just, it'll make you feel good. So, you know, switch up your wardrobe. Don't necessarily go shopping because consumerism is bad. I'm sure you all got a bunch of cute clothes for Christmas anyway. Um, you can always just mix and match pieces and be unique and you. Here are a few of my favorite outfits that I feel cute, comfortable, and confident in. I feel like that's a good, a good motto. Cute, comfortable, confident. Triple C, triple threat. <laughs> all right, so here are my outfits.
Hygge, according to Google, is a Danish and Norwegian word for a mood of coziness and comfortable conviviality with feelings of wellness and contentment. There you have it. Basically, to me, Hygge is just like a warm, cozy space where you feel at home and you just want to like curl up and snuggle up and you just feel good in your space. I don't know. So that's what we're gonna be doing today is redecorating because for me, it really makes like a positive impact on my mindset or it really affects my mindset anyway, depending on the space I'm in and it helps me be productive and just feel good about myself and my life. So today we're just gonna be doing a little bit of redecorating in my room. I'm going to, or I already took down my photos. I'm going to be putting up a new piece of wall art I got for Christmas. It's just like this big cloth old school looking map that I'm really psyched about because it's so my style. So yeah, let's let's redecorate. Let's get Higa up in here. No? Okay. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I freaking love this. This is, wow, my, my room goals are coming true. My, my dream room is happening, people. So again, like I said, redecorating. I feel like it's great for your mindset and just starting fresh in the new year by switching up your space and making it yours. Because if you wanna, you know, glow up this year, you should start by working on your mental health before your physical. So, I think um, your space has a lot to do with your mental health. So, make it yours, make it cute, make it how you like it. Yeah. Next on the list. I know for me, goal setting and just planning out little things I wanna do this year, big and small, um, really relieves a lot of stress and just gets me really excited for the new year and what I have planned. It also is super fun for me to plan. I really like making goals and like bucket list items, things I want to do in the new year. It doesn't have to be anything crazy or insane. Like I know one of my bucket list items is to learn to play chess because I don't know how to play. And then I have some bigger ones too, like going whale watching and traveling outside of the country. But of course you can always tailor and customize the goals to whatever you want, big or small, um, and it's really up to you. Thank you guys for watching. That was pretty much everything I did to just kind of reset in 2019. I think just making physical, mental, and like changes to your space can really boost your confidence and just make you feel more productive and ready to take on a new year, a big challenge. A year is a challenge, 365 days, that's a lot of days. But I believe in you, I believe in me, we can do it. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.